Hi, my name is Sean Miller with uh, Comanco Environmental. I am their heavy haul transport driver, and I'm here today to show you how to properly hook up a trailer. We're going to go over three main safety topics. One is to make sure that you got the proper hitch for the class, and they are class one through five before they go into your goosenecks. Make sure that the ball is rated white, right, and make sure that the uh, tongue is also rated right for what you're going to be hauling. Your classifications on your hitches are usually manufactured either a uh, hard tag or they are stamped in somewhere on it. Next you look for like these. Uh, make sure that your receiver and the hitch match as what class that you're putting the uh, into the receiver. You want to make sure that the ball is stamped with the size and your weight to ensure that it is properly seated into the hitch. Finally, you look at the tongue. It should be stamped or poured into what the weight rating is. This trailer is 25,000 pounds. 25,000 pounds means you can't put 25,000 pounds on the trailer. It means the combination of what you're hauling plus your weight of your trailer. So it's important to know how much your trailer weighs empty before you go putting stuff on it. On this particular model, it does not have an adjustment which is underneath of it. Some do. So when you lower your trailer down onto the ball, when you flip your latch to secure it to the ball, you wanna make sure that there is no more than 3 16th of an inch play between the jaws and your ball. If so, the jaws are either out of a line or out of adjustment or the ball is not the right side. We checked the ball, we checked our uh, receiver, we checked our hitch, everything is compatible now. We make sure, which it already is, align. Make sure you use the spotter so you don't damage the back of the truck, the tailgate, or the tongue. Now we're going to drop the trailer down onto the ball. After you lower the trailer all the way down, first thing to do is, is to lock it. When you lock it, you want to lock it all the way and push it in, and it should not move forward or backward. Okay, after the jaws are locked, you come back to your dollies you crank it back down and you're doing this to ensure that the ball and the jaws of the hitch are locked and won't pull off when you go to load a piece of equipment and you just raise it up until you see the rear end of the truck come up a little bit you know it's good and locked and then you just lower it back down you raise your jack all the way up to it bottoms out make sure you put the handle back into its carrier and pull your legs up on both sides. Next you have your breakaway chains. Make sure to inspect them. Make sure that they are a rated hook. Make sure that your chain is not kink bent. And this chain happens to be a rated chain also. All your chains are usually stamped. When you inspect your hook you want to make sure that the clip works correctly. You would also want to make sure it's rated and importantly you want to make sure it's forged, not casted. Cast will break, forged will stretch and bend. So after you inspected your safety chain, there's little bit pockets that they go on on either side. And you cross them for in the instance that the tongue fails, the, re the hitch fails, or the receiver fails, the safety chains will catch it. And to properly adjust your safety chains, all you do is wind them up so they don't drag the ground and you always hook them in and then you do the same on the other side you cross them underneath wind them up I always take the second chain and make sure it sits inside of your first chain and then at this point I go ahead and put my pin for my jaws in and push it all the way down Give the jaws another good pull so it doesn't come out. And then you are set with your safety chains, your pin, safety pin. And all you have to do now is go on to your breakaway chain. Breakaway chain is for absolute failure of the hitch, receiver, ball, or whatever. This activates the brakes on the trailer by simply pulling it out. With power to it, it disconnects the brakes and it will lock down the trailer. You want to make sure that it is functioning properly and it pulls in and out with minimal stress. A lot of guys where they get confused with hooking up your safety chain, 
they think they can hook it up to a chain. That is not the case. You want to make sure that it is hooked properly to the receiver. So that way, if there happens to be a catastrophic failure, it will pull. You can hook it here. I prefer to go straight to the receiver and then hook it into itself. Make sure that it's good and tight. Make sure that it's not gonna bind, pinch, or pull as you're turning. And finally, you go to your power supply for your lights. Our trucks have the bladed pins in them. You also have four, uh, four pins, but these also have actuator or power for your electric brakes. And all you do is, is you make sure that you plug it in firmly and there is a notch that's on top of it. And there's also a notch that is on the lid and you wanna make sure when you drop it down that it does not pull out like that you stick it back in squeeze and then it will not pull out after you've hooked up your power you want to do a complete walk around again make sure all your lights work on your trailer consistent with the truck right side and left side your four ways your tail lights your headlights and make sure your wheel chocks are away and then as you drive away there is a brake control in the truck that you squeeze that will lock down the trailer brakes. It goes zero to 10, put it on 10, squeeze it, and it should, the brakes should lock completely down. After they do that, then you come back, undo your breakaway chain again, and then pull on the trailer to make sure that it is working properly. Put it back in, one more walk around and make sure everything's right and then you're ready to go down the road. Another important key thing with your trailer hookup and alignment is your weight distribution from the truck to the trailer. As you look from the truck to the trailer, the trailer is nose down a little bit, and that is to compensate for when you put your load on the back of the trailer, it will bring it up, and your truck and trailer will sit level. And there's a formula every five, 10 feet for every 100 weight is how much you want to distribute it from the front of your trailer to the back of your trailer to ensure that you have the right tongue weight to your right axle weight all the way across through the truck. So that is how you properly hook up a truck and trailer. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to reach out to Fleet Department. Tony, thank you for watching and leave your thoughts in the comments.